Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name's Adam and today we're going to be looking at Auxbeam, the Auxbeam products. Well this is the first one that's been sent to me by the guys at Auxbeam. Uh, wanted me to review it, see how we get on and uh, give you my honest opinion. And my honest opinion is, I, um, although they've sent me this, I'm under no obligation to tell you um, that uh, it's a fantastic product. It is literally coming from my own mouth. If I do like it i will actually say so let's delve in have a look see what's in the box um, and uh, see if you like the same things first of all you get a sticker orcs meme sticker which is great that can go on the van we get a full in-depth comprehensive uh, instruction manual which will tell you absolutely everything about the touch panel and the relay boards and where you can put it um, it is a fully potted system we'll have a look at that in a second uh, it will tell you the relays, um, what the relays on here, what their the actual ratings are as well, uh, fuse ratings. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's quite in depth. That That's, there's a lot of information in there. Quite happy about that. Um, we get a sticker pack as well. This is to to put onto the actual touch screen, uh, which will give you um, obviously we, we can you can configure it how you like. For the relays to for for uh, light bars or side lights, um, anything horns, so we can have a momentary push on a horn, ca outside camera stop start generator, you know fans, you name it, you can uh, choose what you like to put on on this, and this is why I think um, I do like this product actually. I, I have looked at it and I do like it. It's it's quite robust. Um, it's quite well thought out as well. I mean that's that's a quite a small small relay pack. Um, this will take up to 60 amps. So it's the input is 60 amps on there. Uh, 1224 volts. Um, quite a good range for the temperature as well. If it's outside, minus 40 to uh, plus 105 degrees. So it's it's got a quite a good range on there for for temperature wise. Uh, personally, I wouldn't put it outside. Um, I don't like anything. Um, outside the vehicle and uh, unless I absolutely have to. So in the back of the cover we've got some spare fuses. We've also got a fuse puller which to, to pull it out. Not that you're going to need it. I think uh, you don't really need the fuse puller for that and you might need it for these but uh, yeah not for the for, for the main one. So in here this is the actual relay board. Very very thin. Solid state relays inside here. We've got, uh, these are the outputs, so um, corresponding to the push buttons. We have a positive and a negative output for each relay, which it, it's a good thing and a bad thing. What I am looking to use this for, uh, which we'll talk about in a minute, I only need a positive output, um, which I suppose I can still just use the positive because uh, it's a combined negative on everything else anyway. But we'll try that, we'll have a play, see how we get on. Um, so individual fuses for individual relays. We've got good terminals here, they're nice robust terminals. Um, they, uh, they, look, uh, they look quite solid there. Uh, everything is potted, so this is potting compound, so it's total rubberized no chance of water getting in there but the reason I don't like this although they say that it can go outside uh, it can go in the engine bay engine bay gets gets moisture gets the salt on, off the roads these terminals here I believe would corrode over time so and uh, and also these where the fuse fuses go in um, anything like this could corrode so for the sake of it I would not put this outside um, unless I was going to completely cover it in Vaseline, uh, make sure that it was all sealed up, but then it gets messy. If we can install this inside the vehicle and run the cables to the outside, then that would be the option that I used, um, rather than putting it exterior on the outside of the van. So there we go, that's it. These are the connections uh, to go to the actual touchscreen part of it. Uh, and then there's a 12 volt feed in. So we, we feed the 12 volt uh, positive and negative into here, which will feed the relays. We also then have to feed a separate positive into here to actually feed the, uh, the controller. So what you could do is you could run that feed off of the ignition. So when you turn the ignition on, um, the actual display then comes live, but these will stay live all the time. Um, for, for the, well, the main input will stay live all the time, but not activated. 
So there you go, that's the relay board. Oh, I think that's a, that's a really well made piece of kit to be honest, like that. We also get a 60 amp fuse. Uh, now these are resettable fuses. Now I don't like these. I really don't like them. I think um, there's been lots of issues uh, from lots of different YouTubers about these. Uh, not actually not actually tripping uh, when they should do so with that in mind I'm personally not going to use this uh, this is I mean it's 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 all right it's it's um, I, well I don't like it I don't like them full stop so I, I really would be happier with a proper proper fuse in in line uh, rather than a resettable one but that's this is my own personal opinion I, I i am an engineer i don't like these but each to their own so me i won't be using that i'll be using a proper fuse what else we got in the box so we've got some cable i've already had this out and had a look at it so this is your, your main cable that comes from your relay box. If I can open it again. <laughs> there we go. So this goes, so this will go into your relay box. Again, this is another thing another terminal and little wires that could get corroded if it was on the exterior of the vehicle um, I'd like to keep it inside nice and dry we have then the touch screen so there's your touch screen nice compact little unit give you so you can have the cable going down out the bottom uh, out the top yeah or drill a hole and it flush mounted straight onto the dash itself so that plugs into there there is also an extension cable just in case it's not long enough you can extend the cable out a little bit more but uh, for our demonstration we'll just have the short version just like that so that plugs onto there we've then got this is for the ignition so this is separate fused uh, you take the existing blade out uh, and, and put this in its place and then connect this to this wire which will then feed the actual touchscreen itself. So that we'll put straight on there like that. So we'll put that aside. That is actually for the vehicle itself. What else we got? So we've got lots of nuts and bolts uh, and an Allen key there to do things with we have several different mounting options um, so we can have it actually mounted on things uh, or if we look in the bottom here we have a flat plate so this flat plate what we do with this flat plate is we'll actually screw that onto the back with the little screws and then we have something to actually screw into into the dash so we've got somewhere to, to bolt with, to the dash. I like that idea better. Or you can mount it from the ceiling as well. So if it was uh, if it was on the on the roof, you've got that. I might even do that to be honest. I don't know yet. Uh, we'll cross that bridge later. What else we got in here? We've got some tie wraps or zip ties, whichever you want to call them, to uh, tidy up the cabling. We have then in this one we have the cables. Um, these will actually be from the battery uh, into here via either this fuse if you want to use this fuse or a proper mini fuse which I prefer. So that will then go from the battery straight to these terminals. And then if we pull this bottom piece out and we have then some more brackets here which will then be for mounting the actual uh, fuse, uh, the actual relay and fuse board. Okay. So 
let's just stick that back in there and get that out of the way and have a look and see what we're going to do with it. So first of all, what we're going to do, just, uh, just so we can demo it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just undo that and just poke that in under there. So we've got a positive supply straight to it. And then what we're going to do, we'll just get rid of that cable for a minute. Then what we're going to do is pull our power supply in and we'll just connect the power supply up. And there we go. All lit up like the Christmas tree. So I've got a little bulb here, a little LED bulb. And we can wire it up just so we can demo it coming on and off. So we'll use the end one. I'll wire this into here. Positiving and negative. I'll also I'll do some diagrams as well for you. So there we go. So now this one here should be this button here. And it's not working. Bish, bash, bosh. Why isn't it working? Definitely connected. Is that connected on there properly? Yes, to there. No, that's not working. Oh, it's the other end, that's why. <laughs> Should we have a go at that bit again? So, this end is that one. Let's go the other end. Why wouldn't it be opposite? Just to confuse you. So that, <laughs> we can see now on a flashing, flashing cycle, that one. So what we'll do is we'll just have a quick look into the app. What we got, we got the app uh, running at the moment. So if we push the on button, uh, we can see that the light's flashing, yeah. We can see the little uh, little icon on here um, that uh, will tell us that it's uh, it's on. And we can turn it on and off. It's amber. Now it's green. So the little dot at the bottom of the of the app will tell you what it's doing. So with the uh, with the, it, as it's set at the moment, it's on a on a flashing pattern. I've just put it as an air pump so guys what we can do with this it's uh, it's flashing away at the moment it's switched on uh, with the app itself we can change the color of the screen I don't know if you can see that on there it might be a little bit bright but uh, they are they are changing the buttons are changing color uh, so we'll turn it to blue and to green so uh, uh, as it is, we can use the app to turn the, the actual device on and off. You can see by this light going on and off as well. Um, that uh, can be done Bluetooth wise on, on the app. If we go into the, uh, the button settings, uh, so go into mode for this button, this button is now highlighted. Um, we can see it's on a pulse. Um, if we wanted it on a toggle, yeah, we can, we can change that to a toggle. Okay, and now what we'll do is it'll switch on, yeah, and it'll switch off. And it's the same with the button on the app, on and off as a toggle. We can also do it as momentary. Now, the momentary comes into its own. If we select momentary, what that will do is as we push it, it comes on. As we let go, it goes off. Now, this feature I like a lot purely and simply because I'm going to use that and I'd like to introduce you to Shelly. Now Shelly is what I use in my van 
Um, these are the uh, RGBW2s. They're 12 volt, 24 volt. They're Wi-Fi enabled. They've got their own web server built in. Um, you can do scheduling on these. They're dimmable as well. So what we've got is we've got outputs on here and uh, you're not going to be able to see these. Uh, but basically we've got uh, red, green, blue, white. So there's four outputs on there. Uh, there's also a ground, and then we've got a, a permanent positive supply going to one of them, yeah. And then we've got a switched supply going to the other. Now, with the app for these, um, they're only really tiny little things, but they they do pack a punch. Um, what we do is we'll wire up our lights that we've got from 12 Volt Planet. Um, the the lights that we got from 12 Volt Planet in the van are the non-touchable ones, so they are just purely the switch on switch off lights and I got those because I'm using these. Now the reason I'm using these is because I can pulse these so I'll program it say right if I if I put a pulse into it um, just a literally a pulse okay that will then turn all the lights on in the van and if it, I pulse it again if they're on they'll go off so on and off that's it on off now, I can also, because of the input, I can program it. So if I push and hold the button, what it will do is that will then bring the lights up to full power. Yeah. And if I then let go and push and hold it again, that will then dim the lights down right down to nothing. So I can, I've got dimmer control. So I've got a purely on or an off, or I've got hold for dimmer control. And it's all down to this device. Now, not only will this device give you four outputs, so you don't have to have red, green, blue, white. You can have, which I've got it set up for, I've got, say, red being uh, controlling the lights at the back of the van, the white lights at the back of the van. Green, which is controlling the middle set of lights for the kitchen. Blue, which will be the living area lights, yeah. And then another set of step lights. So I've got four independent outputs for four independent sets of lights on the vehicle. Um, or I can have them all controlled as one. It's up to me. Um, I've got a separate one of these on the shower because the shower room has got the red, green, blue, white LED strip lights on it. So what that will do, that will be slightly different. That is red, green, blue, white. Each channel will be a different colour. And then in the app, you can actually set this. So these are just purely outputs for the white lights or they are outputs for red green blue and white fantastic these are that's not what the video is about i will be doing a video on these with this connected to it in the near future um, i will leave a link um, if you want to have a look at these i'll leave a link in the description below these are really really fantastic little pieces of kit and as i say you can use these on your van uh, connect them up to your wi-fi um, in your van and then you can control them with an app as well really good really cheap pieces of kit and uh, certainly worth the money if you want dimmer controllable lights in your van you can even use these um, in existing vans as long as they've got led lighting you can use use these in your in your uh, your factory built vans as well uh, very easy to upgrade the lighting to these so anyway future video for that one Getting back to this, uh, so that's that's going to be the pulse. Um, certainly going to be using that. You could also use that for a horn, yeah, maybe a um, uh, an air horn, yeah, or or an existing horn under the bonnet, um, anything like that. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic, and it makes it so versatile as well. If you can if you can um, make a switch panel that will do uh, a multiple of things, it makes it more usable. Um, and I do, I absolutely love this. This is really good piece of kit. Um, so that's it really, uh, really easy to use on the app. Um, if you wanted to, uh, where are we? If you wanted, we can go back into, go back into the, the app itself. Uh, with, the, with the app, um, we can then change icons as well. So we'll select the icon that you want. So say we want this one as the, as the icon change. Uh, we can then go into a list of absolutely lots and lots and lots and lots I don't know how many there are but there are absolutely tons of them and we can select whichever one so say that momentary that number one is a momentary switch say we want it as a horn we can select that as a horn and then click the select button and that will actually change it into a horn so if we go back now we know that that one's a horn yeah 
So what we'll do is we will then grab our sticker pack and we'll select the horn icon and we'll put the icon for the horn on there. And it's brilliant. It's absolutely fantastic piece of kit. I love it, love it, love it. And especially because we have that pulse mode. That pulse mode on here is a winner for me. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed that video. I'm sorry it's a little bit long-winded. Um, it's only a quick one. Happy Christmas for those that have... Uh, <laughs> that have messaged me and that. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So happy Christmas to everybody. Um, a huge, big thank you for all the guys that I've met this year out uh, at different events. It's been lovely to meet you and I hope that we meet up again in 2023. So if I don't uh, say it before, a huge happy new year to you guys. Catch you on the next one. Bye.